once you click sign up and create your account, you'll get a username and password that you'll create. You can click sign in to sign right in. Once you've signed in, what you're gonna see on the left side is the navigation bar. Click this little tab, it'll expand it. And clients and cases is where we can really start running discovery. In order to create a client, you just click add new client. You just put in the client's last name, first name, their email, and their phone number. Birth date and address are optional. You click create, the client file has been created. You click add new case, click on client name, name will pop right up. Put in the case title, put in the data loss, and the case number. Pick the county that you're in and the assigned attorney in your firm, click create, and the case file has been created. The discovery page is gonna show you five boxes, one for form ROGs, one for special ROGs, one for request for production of documents, one for request for admissions, and then a fifth box that is gonna do our medical summaries for us. In order to upload your first discovery, you just click upload Propanda discovery in the appropriate box, click choose file, pick the discovery file you wanna upload. Once the green circle is filled, click upload, and the algorithm will read the document recognize what is a question, what isn't a question, and extract only the questions. This process takes about a minute. Once the questions have been extracted, this is a, a preview page that allows you to preview the questions and make sure all the proper questions were extracted. You can click edit and edit them if you need to. You can add more, you can delete if it read something that wasn't a question. And once you're done, you click save. Now you'll be taken back to our discovery page with the five boxes. And this time for whatever document you uploaded, it'll show you how many questions have been uploaded into the system. Then you click view form. So first things first, we can just click create a shell and it's gonna take all the questions that we just extracted, put it onto a pleading paper with all of our firm information and the case number in the county and our template is ready to go. Once the template is done, it'll give you a Word document with your firm information, the client's name, the county, the case number. You do have to still write in the plaintiff name and defendant name in these four spots, but the rest is done for you. And this is a Word document that doesn't have any watermark or anything like that, so you can start getting to work on your template as soon as you click print. Click send questions. It'll ask you if you wanna send all the questions to the client, you can, or you can pick which ones you wanna send. Just pick the questions you wanna send, click send again, S click send selected questions, and you'll get a box that says question sent to the client. Your client will receive a text message and an email with a link so they can get go into a secure client portal and start answering the questions. Once your client has responded to the questions, their responses will show up here in the client response box. And now we can start putting in our lawyer responses. We can click objections, start picking the objections we like, and it'll auto populate our objections. The objections are completely customizable by clicking objection list. And these are completely editable right there. You can also add your own custom objections. So once we have gone through all of these questions and put in our objections and put in our client's answers the way we like it, we can click tech sign. This is how we are gonna get our verifications from the client. Tech sign will give us a page to preview all the questions and answers that are in the lawyer response box. We click confirm and tech sign. Yes, and we'll get another box that says tech sign sent to client and your client will receive a text message like this. They'll have a chance to review the questions, objections and answers. Once they're done, they can click confirm and sign. They can use their finger to sign in the box. They state what county they're in, agree to electronic signatures and click accept. Once your client signs on their phone and click submit, you'll receive a green PDF and you'll receive verifications that look like this.
So now on this document, it'll finalize everything, your firm information, your client name, county, case number, just put in plaintiff and defendant name. Now, not only does it have your questions, but it has all the objections we picked, perfectly formatted on pleading paper, along with the client's responses. And at the very end will be the verifications. And one of the cool things about form interrogatories, because we know what these questions are, is we've had them translated by a court certified Spanish translator. So now we can send these questions to the client in Spanish. You click send questions, kind of the same process as we did on the other one, but you'll get a toggle switch that says English or Spanish. And you can, same thing, pick the questions you want to send. So you pick two or three, you click send, make sure it says Spanish, click send. And now your client is going to receive everything in Spanish, the text message, the welcome screen, the questions, everything will be in Spanish. And when your client responds in Spanish and their Spanish answer pops up right here under client response, there will be a C translation button that'll translate it back to English. The C translation button is not going to be 100% accurate, but it'll at least give you the gist of what the client was saying. And a Spanish speaker in your office can then go ahead and, and make sure that it was a perfect translation. This fifth box here that says medical history is where you can upload your voluminous medical records. And our team of 15 lawyers overseas will take them, summarize them and put them in a chronological order within seven to 10 business days. The pricing for this is per page. And what the summary would look like is like this. Our team in India will take your medical records and break it down into this type of format. They'll put the date of the treatment, the facility, the doctor name, and then they'll put the doctor's notes and the exact page where they found it so that if you wanna have more information on a particular note, you know exactly where in the medical records our team found that. And you can go through, we OCR it. So if you're looking for a certain body part like back, you can just click back and you can see exactly where the client complained about back pain. Any word you can search. So any you know particular body part or particular dates of treatment or a particular doctor, you can search by all of that. Thanks for watching and for choosing Esquire Tech to help you with your discovery needs. Now you've seen how we can help with your form ROGs, your special ROGs, your RFPDs and your RFAs, and what our medical history can do for your firm. If you have any questions about pricing, just please click pricing at the top of our website and it'll take you to our pricing page that explains how all of that works.